In this video, we're going to solve an equation that has absolute value and has several other things happening on that side of the equation. As we have seen before, before we can even worry about the absolute value being positive or negative or anything else, the absolute value must be alone first. In other words, we're going to treat this absolute value as one block, and we're going to work to get this one block completely alone before we move on. To get that block alone on the left side of the equation, though, we need to get rid of the 2 and the minus 4. As we do that, we must be very careful. A common error is people subtract 2 minus 4 to get negative 2. This does not work because they are not like terms. The 2 stands alone, while the 4 has an absolute value with it. Another common error people will do is they will try and distribute the negative 4 through the parentheses. This does not work, because while we can distribute through parentheses, we cannot necessarily distribute through absolute value. We need another method. We'll treat it just like we would solve the equation 2 minus 4x equals negative 18. Notice I've just replaced the absolute value with an x. We know we could solve this equation by subtracting 2 from both sides to get negative 4x equals negative 20, and then dividing both sides by negative 4 to get x equals 5. Very similar with our absolute value problem, we get rid of the two positives with two negatives on both sides. This gives us negative 4 times the absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals negative 20. Now, to get the absolute value alone, we can divide both sides by that negative 4 to undo the negative 4 times. Now, the absolute value is alone, 2x plus 3 equals positive 5. Once the absolute value is alone, we can now say that this stuff inside the absolute value can equal our two possible results. The 2x plus 3 could equal positive 5, or the 2x plus 3 could equal negative 5. When we remove the absolute value, we consider both the positive and negative results. This now gives us a simple two-step equation, which we can solve by subtracting 3, giving us 2x equals 2, and dividing by 2, giving us x equals 1. Similarly, we can solve the other equation by subtracting 3, giving us 2x equals negative 8, and then dividing by 2, giving us x equals negative 4. And that gives us our two solutions for this equation. If we were to replace the x in the original equation with either 1 or negative 4, the original equation would work out to a true equation. We got this solution by first getting the absolute value alone by subtracting 2 and dividing by the negative 4, and then considering both the positive and negative results once the absolute value is alone.